If you don't know shit about Apple computers, just say so. But I'm going to educate you. <laughs> so, yes, technically, you're right a bit. So out of all these Apple computers ever sold, including all the ones from 2012 on, only from about 2010 and 2011, these iMac models here did in fact use the onboard thermal sensor of the hard drive, which you can see here. Back then, all you would do is check the make of the drive and make sure you matched it up. If you had failed to do that, yes indeed, it would run the fans on high. This was a default setting to ensure that the system stayed cool in an event of a hardware failure. But, surprise, surprise, many solutions became available, including hardware solutions and various software solutions. For example, SMC fan control was very popular at the time and would simply allow you to control the fans through software. When upgrading computers of that era, I choose to use Max Fan Control. It's a great little utility. Now, any Apple computer before or after that era never, in fact, used that onboard thermal sensor, so you'd never get this issue. The vast majority of upgrades I'm doing these days are to 2.5 inch SATA drives, which don't even have that sensor anyway. So, just install that software and you're good. But for you to make a blanket statement, fucking Apple, about what turns out to be a easily solved problem affecting very, very few models of Apple computers is disingenuous at best and incredibly uneducated. I'm always here to answer questions. But in cases like these, I'm going to just take you to school. <laughs>